Good day, everyone. This is Harry from Start Quick Tech. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to copy S3 files from one AWS account to another. Let's get started. Let's have a look at the workflow and how to set them up. We have two AWS accounts. For simplicity, we just call them source account and destination account. What we want to do is just to copy the files from S3 bucket and source account to the S3 bucket in the destination account. There are two steps we need to do. One, we need to delegate source account S3 bucket access to the destination account. Here we use bucket policy. Two, we need to have an IAM user in the destination account with the proper permissions to execute the copy action. If you use EC2 or Lambda function or ECS task, you can also use IAM row with the same permissions. The user can get objects from the source account and put objects to the destination accounts. For executing the copy action, you can use AWS CLI or other AWS SDK such as Boto3 for Python or SDK for JavaScript. Today, we're going to use IAM user to run AWS CLI on my local machine as an example. OK, now let's get into the hands-on video. OK, now let's have a look at uh, how to do the cross account at three file copying. Now we have uh, two AWS account. Uh, what we're going to use one of the account uh, as a destination account, which is uh, Sir Harry. And the source account is start quick tag. Let's just quickly dive into it. I'll click Management Console to log into uh, the Start Quick Tech account. Now it goes to S3 Bucket. Now we could see the Start Quick Test Bucket. We have our, uh, sorry, Start Quick Test a Source Bucket that we have already created. Once we click it, we got four images sitting here. Then we go back. Or let's log into the Sir Harry account. We click at three bucket again. What we can see is we have start quick destination account, which is a blank account. Okay. Now let's go back to the source account first to, to set up the bucket policy. Log into the management console. Click at three bucket again and click the source bucket. Now we could see the permission tab. We scroll down, we will see bucket policy here. So, what we need to do is click edit and then we need to copy uh, the policy here. So, don't worry about it, you have the policy. Uh, which is uh, in my media blog uh, in the description. Uh, what from here? What you need to change is you need to change the account ID, which is for your destination account. Other than that, you need to uh, type in the your S3 bucket name, source bucket. Once it is done, we just need to click Save Changes. Right. So it, it is done. So you can see uh, we still block all public access. Don't worry about it. So we use IAM user to access the bucket. So we still need don't have to, you know, uh, enable the public access for this bucket. And when we finish that, we exit this account, lock out this account, and then we go to the destination account. We click the management console. And here, uh, we just quickly have a check at F3 bucket. See, we, sorry, not this bucket. Start quick tag destination bucket. We don't have anything. Now, what we need to do is we log into the IAM. As I said in the, in the slides, we've got, we're gonna do hands on using IAM users. You can use IAM rows as well. So here I just make it simple to create a dedicated user to do that. If you already got the user access, 
uh, set it up there your AWS CLI on your laptop. You don't have to do that. So here I'll add user, add three, give it a name, add three, copy user. And I just need, I, I can give it access key programmatic access or management console access. Here we just need, need to have access key for medical access. So permissions, copy permission from existing user. Here we use attach existing policy directly. Oh, sorry, we don't have that. We can create a policy and we just click JSON and then I've got the policy created for you already. So if we look at the policy, what we need to have understand is for the start quick text source bucket, we need to have get object and list bucket policy. But for the destination part, we need to have put object, which is used for copying files and write it to the destination bucket. So once it is done, we click next. We just skip the tagging process. We'll give a file with I am user policy for at four at three copy and then we just ignore the description we create policy cool once it is created we get back click refresh and we search this one we have that policy already sitting here Use tag next create user now you can see we have this user created. So what we need to do next, we need to set up the AWS CLI credentials on our local environment. And we need to have the access key ID and secret access key ID. So don't worry about that. I'll just uh, delete that user later. So copy paste, that, that is not a problem. But for you, just make sure you have access key and secret access key. Yep. Uh, 100% secure. So here we'll open up a terminal. So let's just type AWS configure. If you look at this, I've already got some specific configuration for my uh, usual use for the new users. What I need to do is let's make it like this. Let's copy this one here and for the second one paste it here and for the region we use uh, Southeast Asia Southeast uh, 2 which is uh, for Sydney Australia just click enter default up format JSON enter so now we can do the copying because we've got the two conditions already. One is the bucket policy, which is allow our copying from the source account. The other one is the IEM user who have access, who have permissions to do the copy work. Okay, now we need to do the following things. The first one is we can just copy one of the file. We can just quickly check the file name again. Click AWS a source account. see the source account this is one of the name and the bucket name so what we need to do we can do copy paste this and we just pick one of the image name and the destination is f3 if i remember correctly it should be like this we just need to change the source to destination and then give it the same name yeah once it is done obviously there's something wrong so here we missed something so what we need to do is we need to have AWS S3 copy 
So that's kind of a format uh, for the AWS commands. Usually we have AWS and the service name and do the commands. So we should do like this. Yeah, now it is done. You can see this it is copied. So let's prove that. So we go back to this account, Sir Harry account, which is the destination account. And we just need to click destination bucket. Now we can see the image one.jpg is sitting here. Right. Other than the copy commands, we can use sync commands as well, as well just like copying all of the files to the destination accounts. So let's just do a quick try. Let's do some modifications. What we need to do here, we can change the CP commands to sync, sync commands. And then we can sync a specific file or we can just sync a folder like this. and then we press enter. Now you'll see one, two, three, because one of the file has already been copied and no, no change at all. So it will do, for the sync command, it will do the rest of the three cop files, copy actions for the three uh, files. So let's just try refresh it again. Now we'll see one, two, three, four, all four fi files are stored in the destination account. Cool. This is uh, this is how we do the cross account cop copying. Hope that is helpful for you. Now you should know how to do cross account at three bucket file copy. If you think this is helpful, please click the like button. If you want to get more cloud or tech related contents, you can subscribe my channel and turn on the notifications. Then you'll never miss my next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.